So we are going to learn tanner staging related to puberty in two minutes. Now for females, there are two parameters, pubic hair and breast. This is the diagrammatic representation of the pubic hair. You can see in stage two, the hairs are sparse. In stage three, they increase in amount. And in stage four, they become abundant, right? Stage one means pre-adolescent uh, pubic hair. Again in stage two, the hairs are straight. In stage three, the hairs have just begin to curl. And in stage four, the hairs have become curly. In stage two, again, the hairs are very lightly pigmented. In stage three, they are darker. And in stage four, they are both darker and coarse. Finally, in stage five, we have got this type of hair that is the adult like hair and this adult like hair they are present mainly on the medial aspect of the thigh as well. Talking about the development of breast again in stage one we have got the pre adolescent breast in stage two we have got breast and papilla we can see they are forming a mound and the areola diameter is increased in stage three you can see breast and areola have enlarged further and there is no separation of the contour. In stage 4, areola and papilla, they form a secondary mount. And in stage 5, you can clearly see the nipple is projecting out, the breast have become mature and areola now becomes a part of the general breast contour. Now coming to males, tanner staging in males consists of three parameters again pubic hair, penis and testis. The pubic hair development or staging is exactly same as that in females. Whenever we are going to talk about the other two parameters, let's divide it into two parts. This is the schematic representation of the development of penis and this is of the testis and scrotum. So we have divided it into again stage 2, stage 3, stage 4 and stage 5. Stage 1 means uh, pre-adolescent period again. In stage 2, there is minimal enlargement of the penis. In stage 3, the length increases. In stage 4, we can see the breadth is increasing. And the glans penis also increases in size. And in the last stage, the penis assumes an adult size. Whenever we are talking about testis, initially the testis is enlarged. Then the volume increases, the testis enlarges further and in stage 5 it attains an adult size. What about the color of the scrotum? In stage 2 the color of the scrotum is pink, in stage 3 it remains to be pink, in stage 4 it becomes brown or pigmented and in stage 5 it remains brown or pigmented. So that was in short the tanner staging in males and females related to puberty. Thank you.